Hello and welcome to Running the Table, the podcast where we run through everything on the table in the world of sports. And today I'm back with Boom Buster Believable as we continue moving through the Big Ten, breaking down the men's basketball teams and their outlook for the rest of the season. Up next, the preseason number three team in the Big Ten, the Michigan Wolverines. So Michigan currently stands at 14 and 10 at eight and five in the Big Ten, which uh, currently actually puts them at tied for second in the Big Ten with Indiana and Rutgers. Um to be 14 and 10 and tied for second in a conference like the Big Ten is pretty crazy. Um, but here we are once once again. In terms of key players, we have Hunter Dickinson at 18 points, eight and a half rebounds, and 1.6 blocks per game, and actually shooting 38.9% from three, uh, a stat that he's majorly improved over the course of his college career. Um, second to him, we got Jet Howard at 15 points per game. Uh, and shooting 80.3% from the free throw line and 39.2% from three. So those are their two of their best, most consistent three-point shooters. Um, and another another guard for them is Kobe Bufkin at 12.3 points, 4.3 rebounds, and 3.1 assists per game, um, as well as adding on 1.3 steals per game. Um, and another forward that either comes off the bench or, or runs the four for them is Terrence Williams II. Um, and he's averaging seven points and 6.3 rebounds per game um, and 28 minutes minutes per game uh, for the Wolverines. Um, So they're a team that's had a lot of ups and downs so far. Um, Their offense at times looks great and other times looks very, very below average. Um, And really same goes for their defense, but their defense is where they've had more struggles. And that leads us to the Ken Palm rankings. Um, Their adjusted offensive efficiency, they sit at 41st in the country, where for adjusted defensive efficiency, they're down at 73rd. So you can see a little bit of discrepancy there. Their, Their offense typically is what what helps get them through games, but their defense is what's more spotty. And we've seen that um, across quite a few cases throughout the season. Um, That leaves their adjusted efficiency margin at 52nd. um, And their adjusted tempo, they're all the way down at 135th. So they are not a team that really likes to to, to go and and get moving in games. They're much more slow it down, uh, set their own tempo. And if they, if they can control the tempo of the game, that's going to be much more to their speed. Um, but their strength of schedule is 38th. So they have had a pretty rough schedule or a decently difficult schedule compared to some of the other teams we've looked at so far, um, which you can account for some of their losses, although a lot of their losses um, have come in less than ideal ways, I would say. Um, and looking at some of those wins and losses, one of their, I would say their first really if he lost was um, at home against central Michigan, um, which is not a team they usually lose to 63 to 61 on December 29th, um, losing an in-state rivalry game to a team not named Michigan state is not something that you're looking if looking for, if you're a Wolverine fan, um, but they have did have come away with a solid win versus Maryland at home, 81 to 46 on January 1st. So there's a game where their defense plays really well. Um, they hold them to 46 and Maryland has turned out to, to look like a pretty solid team um, over the course of the year, them having their ups and downs as well. Um, another rough loss for them came at Penn state on January 29th, where they lost 83 to 61, um, and then more recently, they had a win at Northwestern, 68 to 51 on February 2nd. Um, so you've seen this team have a lot of ups and downs. Some of these losses come to teams that, like Michigan, have been inconsistent as well. You've seen that as a bit of a common theme in the Big Ten. But Michigan themselves have just been pretty pretty rough overall in terms of what we're used to seeing out of a team, especially led by Hunter Dickinson um, in recent memory. Um, so in the middle of February, the Wolverines find them find themselves sitting tied for second in the Big Ten, but yet outside in terms of uh, the bubble for the NCAA tournament coming up in March, which, I mean, in terms of what the Big Ten usually looks like is pretty unusual. But this team just really doesn't have much in terms of statement wins. The closest they really have is a statement loss um, where they went toe to toe against number one Purdue at home the end of January, only losing 75 to 70, where they looked very good that game. They defended pretty well, um, held Purdue to 75 while scoring 70 of their own. So that's probably their most balanced offensive and defensive performance, other than a couple of those blowouts that they have. Um, In terms of their team, Hunter Dickinson still being himself, he's really the standalone star. Um, But behind him, he doesn't. They don't really have anybody that really specifically stands out, um, other than Jet Howard, um, who has been relatively consistent for them. We mentioned he's pretty much their number two um, and their main scoring guard. Um, 
a repeating pattern for a lot of teams that stands true for the Wolverines as well is when they play good defense, not only do they typically win, um, but their offense looks significantly better. When you defend well, you're able to get out on the break and not necessarily go against a set defense nearly as often, which is almost always going to help your offensive efficiency. Um, but they're going to need a lot of statement wins to get themselves on the right side of the bubble going into March to convince the committee that they belong as part of the 68 teams that will take part in March Madness. Um, but they do have a couple of opportunities with that coming up. Um, with Indiana coming into town um, on Saturday, February 11th, as well as when they go down to Bloomington for their last game of the season, March 5th. Um, the other big opportunity they'll have is when they travel to Piscataway uh, to take on currently 24th ranked Rutgers in the rack. Um, but that's going to be all for us today. There are a lot more teams to get through before March Madness comes around, and I'm going to do my best to get through all of them. Um, but here on the channel, we're coming towards the end of the NFL season. Um, so check out all of our playoffs content as well as our Super Bowl content, which is right around the corner. Um, and if you want more videos from us, check out our other videos, like and subscribe. And until next time, peace.